here's a typical um, problem with anodes not being correctly fitted or completely lacking in the first place um, this is a, a 30 year old powerboat with two engines so two propellers so you've got an opportunity to compare um, this propeller here uh, I found has got uh, some typical degalvanization uh, of the blade caused by uh, poor bonding of anodes and anodes that as you can see just up there have actually been anti-fouled which has stopped any help in protecting this from the, the old uh, periodic tables or nobility uh, at all so the first thing is this rudder blade is bonded to an anode which really is a bit too far away it's right up there ideally uh, I, I know anodes work in line of sight but ideally you want the uh, anode that's protecting the the metalwork of the vessel which in this case is a GRP boat so really something around here would have been much better off uh, to keep everything nice and tight together this uh, rudder blade has got quite a nice ring to it uh, this propeller is as dead as they come there's very little ring in it at all and if you look very carefully on the tips where I've tapped it earlier you'll see uh, the tips have actually broken off from just hammering them and you'll see them just falling apart as we go there so that is just absolute total proof that this rudder blade has completely, uh, this uh, propeller shaft should I say, this propeller has completely degalvanized and there you can see the changing of the uh, the alloy in, in the metal. What's interesting is, as I said, is we've got uh, a twin screwed motorboat here so what's really good is I can take you across to the other side with a propeller which is literally the same age as we know and you can compare good against bad good bad what's interesting is when looking at this one the anode which was on the shaft must have been well bonded the boat's been in the water quite a long time and the anode has completely disappeared so that is quite important the other unfortunate thing I've picked up is that the propeller is actually loose on the shaft so that's going to be done before the boat's put back in the water but apart from that, it's, uh, it's not a bad job. 